atherosclerosis, the placking of the arteries. This section, we're going to cover what the plaques are, where they come from, uh, how to prevent them, and how to reverse them. And are they the key to cardiac dysfunction? Are they the key to the plague that our population is suffering from? You're going to find out. This is going to blow your mind. It's going to expand your skull. Atherosclerosis. Athero is artery. Sclerosis means hardening. So it's actually a hardening of the arteries. What does the National Institute of Health say? Atherosclerosis is a disease in which plaque builds up inside of your arteries. Arteries are blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood to your heart and other parts of your body. The plaque is made up of fat, cholesterol, calcium, and other substances found in the blood. Over time, plaque hardens and narrows your arteries. This limits the flow of oxygen-rich blood to the organs and other parts of the body. Atherosclerosis can lead to serious problems, including heart attack, stroke, and even death. Atherosclerosis can affect every artery in the body. So we're talking blood flow to the arms, the legs, the kidney. Depending on the artery affected by atherosclerosis, according to the National Institute of Health, if the arteries to heart, the heart are affected, you have coronary artery disease. If the arteries are affected to the extremities, you have peripheral artery disease. If you have arteries that are affected to the brain, you have carotid artery disease. So depending on the artery that's affected by this placking, you're going to end up with decreased blood flow or a problem. There's multiple stages of atherosclerosis. Remember, we have the artery that has those three layers of different tissue, and the placking forms underneath the endothelial or the inner lining of that arterial plaque. First, it forms a fatty streak. Then, if it's not treated or corrected, or the cause isn't affected, it can grow. And this growing is called a fibrofatty plaque. If it's still not corrected, or if the problem that forms the plaque is still there, it can get larger and larger, creating stenosis or narrowing of that arterial wall. It can even have more complicated problems where the placking can break off and negatively affect structures down the line. So the three stages of atherosclerosis, first you have a fatty layer underneath the endothelium. Then you have a fatty fibrous layer that is a more advanced stage. There's even a complicated plaque that will cause stenosis or a decreased flow of blood. That decreased flow of blood can cause a turbulence and that can form a thrombus or a blood clot. And then that can, can flow through and damage structures further on down the flow of blood. So we know the stages of atherosclerosis. What's the process? Well, atherosclerosis is actually an inflammatory process. It's a protective mechanism by the body. Atherosclerosis is initiated by an inflammatory process in the endothelial cells of the vessel wall associated with retained low-density lipoprotein or LDL particles. Low-density lipoprotein particles are oxidized by free radicals. Endothelial cells respond by attracting monocyte white blood cells. The white blood cells penetrate the arterial walls and transform into macrophages. The macrophages ingest the oxidized LDL particles which form specialized foam cells. HDL particles are recruited to remove the fats from the foam cells. If the foam cells in HDL aren't able to process the oxidized LDL, then an atheroma forms. Atheroma, oma means tumor, athero means artery. So it's a, an outpouching or swelling of that endothelial lining. And this is why doctors typically will say LDL is bad cholesterol and HDL is good cholesterol. However, we're going to go into that in detail. There is no good and there is no bad cholesterol. Now, atheromas can actually grow and eventually rupture, leaving behind cellular membrane, remnants, oxidized material, and fats in the artery wall. This attracts more white blood cells, which cause the entire cycle to repeat. The presence of plaque induces the muscle cells of the blood vessel to stretch, and the endothelial lining thickens and stiffens. Then it's called atherosclerosis.